Hey everybody, welcome back to FSU Off-Road. Today, we're gonna be making a custom double shear pitman arm and tapping the steering box. Let's get to it. What's going on everybody? And working on a fine, uh, a, a couple of tweaks here. Um, where we had the hydraulic uh, ram assist before in front of the track bar, it was kind of underneath the actual track bar itself. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move it in front of the track bar. We'll make a, sm a special double shear bracket that goes over top. The lower mount we won't use, but I'll still have adjustability for the upper two, even though we're really focusing on the upper one with the lift and it should be super level more so than it was before it's not going to have any binding in the heim joint and it's not going to hit the diff and or the track bar up there nor is it going to interfere with the pitman arm right there so that's what we're working on now also we're gonna to have to make a modification to this um, the double shear high steer knuckle here what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lengthen this out and plate it on the outside to give it that double shear application and strengthen it again uh, we'll trim some of this off and, and cut it as best we can uh, that way i'll still have that adjustability if i need it if something does wall or out break or anything like that we'll still have it here but what i want to do is i want to move it out because this was this was actually too short with the stroke of the length so what we're going to do is we're actually going to move it here and then we'll add length to the pitman arm up there because what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, we're going to use a, a new heim joint for the link up there to create a double shear application on the pitman arm right there so we'll actually add a little bit of length to it and we'll use the pitman arm there so we'll be doing that shortly as well and then um, once we get these few things adjusted um, We'll be able to hook up the assist, tap the steering box, uh, add, the, add the, the link from the pitman arm to the outer knuckle here, and we'll be able to get this thing underneath its home weight. Um, and we'll have steering. All right, as you may see behind me, I went ahead and removed the steering box. And to do that, uh, you just take off the three bolts, go into the steering box, high pressure line, the return line, and then the bolt that goes to the steering column, you'll remove that. And that is all you'll have to do to take it out. Once you get the, the box out from underneath the Jeep, uh, you want to go ahead and remove the pitman arm. I just got a pitman arm puller there and pulled it out with an impact. Uh, so it came off fairly easy. Now this steering box, actually, uh, the input seal is leaking. So we're actually going to replace the seals in this thing as well. So we're gonna take care of that um, after the fact. But first, um, the main thing I wanna focus on is, this is a stock pitman arm, and this is a pitman arm from a Jeep XJ. What I wanna do is make it a custom double shear uh, application. But because I need it to be special um, with our high steer steering assist, um, this has an eight inch throw. So what I need it to do is I need the, the end of that pitman arm to have an eight inch draw to it to match the throw of the steering. So in order to do that, uh, this current pitman arm measures right at six and three quarters of an inch. So we need to get about another inch and a quarter travel out of it. So we'll have to elongate that, making it a little bit longer. So what we got here is I went ahead and cleaned up the pitman arm, used our scrap plate that we had, and kind of built a piece to go around the pitman arm. 
and we can get it sit in there we can get it welded if we need to bend this wherever we need to bend it we can do that it gives plenty of welding surface and then what i'll do is on the back side of this i'll actually build a plate that comes on the bottom side i'll be able to weld that we'll get a connecting plate for the double shear application on the actual hump joint itself okay sitting back underneath the jeep i went ahead and um lifted the axle back up to a full bump where it's going to be and as you can see with the pitman arm we kind of put a slight bend in it it will raise up a little bit because it's just kind of low on the actual stud itself um, whenever we tighten this up it will come up a little bit more but uh, we put a slight bend in it and even with the two inch spacers uh, there's still just enough gap right there um, so this is going to work out great what we're actually going to do is we're going to get some different times uh, or misalignment spacers we'll get some ones for uh, one and five eighths rather than two inches so we'll gain a little bit more clearance keep it a little bit more compact and then we'll actually be able to build just a straight piece that comes straight over and then we'll be able to plate the whole back side here and um, I think that this is going to turn out great for what we need stroke of it was eight inches so we're right on the target with everything that we need so now that we got our pitman arm mocked up the way we want it got plenty of weld surface there uh, we need to go ahead and duplicate another one of these plates that way we can make the bottom side of our double shear pitman arm uh, we'll clean up some of this that way we can actually get some better weldment as well but i think it's going to turn out nice uh, it's very similar to the Genrite design that they have for four hundred dollars so i can make it out of some scrap i literally had a scrap pitman arm laying around some scrap plate laying around. Uh, so I think this is gonna be a better option than the $400 for something I can make in the garage. Okay, I saved you the hassle of me cutting out this other bracket and drilling a 5 8 hole there and duplicating it. Now, uh, we gotta figure out how we wanna put, install our Pitman, on, uh, Pitman splines back in and integrate the bottom plate. All right, everybody, let me show you what I got here. So the plate that we had I just did a couple slight bends that way we can get the contour of the uh, existing plate that we have and in order to keep the strength so right now i'm going to plan on welding this underneath and on top here um, for the top part right there um, but for the secondary plate i think what i'm going to do is just cut out the hole and cut out a pilot hole for welding and then weld just the back side of this plate so it'll make the pitman arm a little bit thicker but when we go ahead and put this on there with the contour you can kind of see what we're talking about here Okay, we got everything welded up. Nice hot welds, as you can see here. Uh, just great penetration. I mean, that's roughly an inch and a half from the welds themselves. So this is not gonna go anywhere. Now the next thing we need to do is build a, a back plate to go on top there. Okay, with the custom pitman arm all done, all welded up, all fabricated, um, it's time to get into this steering box. If you see here, I got two white dots. That is where we want to drill and tap for our MPT ports for the hydraulic assist. But first, we want to go ahead and disassemble the box itself.
Okay, I went ahead and cleaned the top up here uh, where it was nice and flat and then uh, as well as down here just a little bit that way I can get a good straight drill. Uh, what you want to do is you want to follow this port straight back and then the, the meat you want to center punch it there and drill there uh, and then you just whenever you clean this flat just keep it centered drill there so we'll get these drilled and tapped. Okay, so now that we got our box tapped where it needs to be, uh, make sure you check your fittings, make sure they go in uh, so they go in good enough. Uh, on the smaller one right here, it's not going to go in as far just because it's going to bottom out quicker. So you want to realize that whenever you put it on there. Went ahead and cleaned up the rest of the box. Uh, made sure there was no more shavings in there. Take magnets, whatever you can do to get it in there. Squirt some cleaner through it. Make sure it's nice and clean. I cleaned out all the, the seal surfaces there. That way, all the new seals. And um, we're just going to put this thing back together the way we took it apart. Okay, there you have it. Our fully built, rebuilt box, or I fully rebuilt steering box there. I got it cleaned up pretty good. We went ahead and uh, where we marked it with the, the chisel, we went ahead and got our places put back to where they need to be. Got our ports drilled and tapped for our ports there. Um, everything is put back together the way it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple layers of paint on this. And that way we can get it installed in the Jeep, run our hydraulic lines for a hydraulic assist. And this thing will be ready to build a drag link from the pitman arm that we built as well into the axle here of our high steer knuckle. Um, also got a cooler. Uh, we'll run that from the return on the power steering, but that's not as important at the moment as getting this installed. Well, there it is, underneath its own weight for the first time in a month. Uh, more like five weeks actually, but we got some fine tweaking to do, we got some things to make, but overall, uh, I'm really excited about the way it looks. All right, so we just finished up the double shear pitman arm. We finished up fixing the knuckle. We finished up with the uh, hydro assist. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, what it turned, how it turned out. All of our custom parts here. Everything is nice and tucked, beautifully. Double shear pitman arm. Everything double sheared. So uh, it turned out great. I mean, I couldn't be more happy with the way things turned out so taylor just got home she hasn't seen the jeep yet i'm gonna see what her first reaction is hey, hey. come here okay well, i'll help you in a second huh? what you think about the jeep I know, but you haven't got to see it in person. Oh no, this looks good, guys. Look at it. Oh, since you got that on, let me show you what I got. Hang on, let me show you what I got. 
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. You like it? I do. I love it. Thank you. Feel it is soft. I'm not going to feel it. Oh. <laughs> My hands are dirty. It looks good. Oh, is this the winch? That'll be the new winch. Sponsored by Warren. Check out underneath. Pretty sweet. Oh, oh it's so pretty, baby. Look at this. We are not painting this. Why would you do that? <laughs> what you think? You like it? I do like it. It looks good, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. Do you All like right. them? I do. Time to go get something to eat. I'm starving too. Thank you, guys. Lee. Say so bye, you too. Bye, you too. <laughs> I know this video is probably pretty long. Um, there's multiple videos for this video, so. I'm not 100% sure what I put in there, what I didn't put in there. But anyways, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Um, stay tuned for, for many more videos of upgrades and things to come for Tinker. Uh, and especially stay tuned because come February, this thing's hitting the lake bed at King Hammers down in Johnson Valley. And uh, I can't be more stoked. So... Be prepared for that, and we'll see you guys in the next one.